Hey guys, uh, welcome to the video today. If you want to check out what we're restoring, we got a 1986 that hasn't run since 2005. It's been in storage for 15 years. Let's see if we can start it up and get it running for the first time. Let's go. Alright guys, this is what came in. It is a uh, collection of all Apple products. Looks like it's a uh, Color One scanner with a SCSI cable. Uh, it may be a black and white. Image writer 2. A personal laser writer. And then this one. Oh, oh there's the mouse. Well, we got ourselves a Macintosh SE. Let's see what the build date on this thing is. It is an original. Looks like a one uh, one meg of RAM, 800K, and a 20 gig drive. Uh, made in USA. That is so cool. I love seeing that. Is there a build date on this one? I don't see a build date. This has to be... Oh, 1986 is the copyright date on that. Sweet. So before we fire this up, I want to crack it open, clean out the inside of it, make sure we don't have any problems to before we start this thing up and uh, see what we got. All right, so let's go ahead and take this cover off here. Start down here. Black screw. You're going to need a, if you're first time doing this, if you're not a normal Mac person, uh, you're going to need something long because there's two more screws up in here. Get yourself a long torques. I'll uh, put a link in the description to where you can buy your own set off of Amazon. And two. So I have two silver ones on top, two black ones on the bottom. Set those off. We'll set this down. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's right. There uh, used to be a tool. So I used to sell a tool back in the day that would break this case open but uh, any kind of little plastic and again being a car guy I have trim tools everywhere okay It's not one of the early ones because there's no signatures inside. But that's okay. It's still a Mac. We'll put that off to the side. Okay, let's stand this up. Now, I haven't touched this. It hasn't been turned on. So I'm pretty sure that I'm safe with this thing. If not, you discharge it right here. So it doesn't seem to be, well, yeah, okay, so it is a little dusty. Put it back here, take off this little shield, just comes right off. And here's our motherboard. Let's just take that. Correctly, yep. So here's our SCSI adapter. Let's go and pull that off. That frees us up from there. And then we have a 
floppy drive connector. And then the power cord of the Connections are off. This board now yeah, should slip out. Got to remove this. That's what it was. Then there is one more connection on here. Looks like I pulled it off already. Speaker connection, which went right there, which. Hope that didn't uh, affect too much. And it still has the, well, the board. Hope I can see that. It's got memory. There's the processor. Dual floppies, and that's your uh, SCSI connection. Uh, pretty dusty, and this is not blown. And I don't see any of the caps on this. And this here says, Made in Germany, if I remember correctly. Yeah, made in West Germany, the battery is. So I'm thinking what we should do is uh, get some compressed air. Let's uh, blow this all out and uh, put it all back together and we'll fire this baby up. Let's get the compressed air going. Okay, let's give it a shot here. Stickers came out. Then we'll take care of this thing. We'll take one note here. If I remember correctly, these were only a four meg um, motherboard. So by looking at the two SIMs, I bet you that's four megs of RAM on that. Cool, hey, look at that. Fox, or uh, in uh, German, if you know, because of the Porsche, uh, Fuchs. And so, and it has kind of the same little Fox head as the, uh, the Porsche wheels, so kind of cool. All right, enough of that, let's put this back together. All right, board's cleaned up. Let's go ahead and put this back together. Speaker wire there. And uh, while we're at it, go ahead and put our uh, SCSI adapter in.
Okay. And then the way this goes in is you kind of set it in place on the side over here. Slots on this side, line up line up the slots on this side. And if I'm doing this wrong, give me a comment down below in case I have to take this apart ever again. Um, but I can't see another way to do this. Okay, she's in place. There we go. And my SCSI adapter there. Pull that out for just a minute. Make sure it's down. Okay. Sound is still on. We'll put our power back to the motherboard. Floppy drive. And kind of cool is uh, there's an upper and a lower, and you just read for it. So this is our lower drive, so it needs to go into the lower drive socket, which is closest to the front. Hook this back up to the SCSI drive. Okay, so everything is back together. Um, we put this cover on. Alright, I didn't see any of the um, um, caps that I've heard in other videos. Maybe this is before that design. Um, if you know, you comment down below. Kind of give me some information on this. So, I really want to fire this up before I put the case back on. Think we should? Yeah, why not? Alright. So, they gave us a power cord. We'll get that undone. Give it some power. Okay, so far so good. The uh, coil cord here is for the keyboard. So let's get that in. Okay, that plugged in pretty good. Keyboard. Plug it in on this side. There's that. And uh, our mouse. And it's pretty cool. Uh, the mouse and keyboard both say made in America. So I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But okay, she's all hooked in. Guys, sorry about the uh, glare in the garage. Um, I'm going to use my Firebird catalog as a mouse pad. And uh, let's see if we can fire this thing up now. Turn the switch on, being careful not to touch electronics. Uh-oh. Right, let's turn this thing on. So far, I heard a beep, nothing on the screen. Wait, wait, the screen is coming up. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I can definitely see the border, the black border. I hope you guys can too. And it's 
taking a minute to boot. Oh, I saw it flash. I see a, I see a mouse cursor. I see a Happy Mac. Um, looks like at one time this was at a Spectra Mac shop down in Tucson, Arizona. And hard drive is spinning. I can see the light. It's bringing up its uh, extensions. And... We're at the Finder. We're on the desktop. Oh yeah, I think it's uh, time for a beverage. Can I, oh, I can move the mouse, okay. What do we got? Whoa, let me zoom in on this. So I'm not sure if you can, what you can see on this, but Obviously, the hard drive was never formatted. They just dropped it off to me. Uh, looks like we have Microsoft Works, Mac Paint, Mac Draw, a calendar maker, some utilities, fonts, Apple Scan folder, which means that scanner will work. Um, HyperCard may not work with System 7. Ah, so let's see what we got up here. About this Macintosh. It is a Macintosh SE, System 7.0. Um, and yep, it does have the four megs of RAM, um, and three three megs are open, a meg being used by system software. Cool. Um, let me see. Looks like we have some personal items, some jokes, a um, few little odds and in inventory letters. Let me see one more thing here. Let's go down to control panel. Let's see what's installed in the control panel. Ah. Before we do that, there are 40 gigs, or 40 megs, I should say, megs, 40 megs on the disk and 60. So that's a 100 meg drive. So there's no way that's a factory drive. So that's cool. That's 4 megs of RAM and a 100 meg hard drive. Pretty cool. All right, so back up to the Apple, down to control panels. What do we got? Brightness. Let's see if we can't. Uh, let me change that by icon. Small I, uh, by icon. That's my icon. All right. And then stretch this out. It has been a while. So we have file sharing monitor. Um, what else we got here? Uh, brightness, labels, a map, memory, monitors. Uh, portable, wow, that's kind of cool. SCSI probe, um, sharing, startup, sound, startup disk, users and groups, and views. Uh, let's go to memory real quick. Disk cache on, um, use defaults. 128K, all right, that's good. Um, general controls. Uh, background pattern. Oh, that is cool. I've heard all about that. That is a trip. It has been many moons. All right. Blinky normal time. The freaking battery. The freaking battery is still working. It has today's correct date in the time. You gotta be kidding me, seriously? 1024, it's it's 20 minutes off. It's 20 minutes off, that's it. Holy mackerel. Um, that is way cool. Let's see what else we got here. Um, brightness, I know there's a here to make it brighter. But I definitely brightened it up, didn't it? Look at that. You're definitely getting that that wave to it. Um, too cool. Right on. Well, um, you know, I, what else can we do here? I know we have some programs and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's up and running. It's working. That's a big freaking win there. Um, so I said we put it back together and uh, call this a, a win, a find. And I think uh, next video we'll tackle getting into that laser printer that image writer 2 dot matrix printer and see if that uh, scanner will work for this. 
Well guys, we've uh, successfully started up this Apple Macintosh SE. The uh, build date on this has to be somewhere 96, 97, or sorry, 86, 87. Um, if you look at the uh, serial number that we showed in the video, if you guys know how to make all those digits make sense and figure something out, will you post down below what exactly year this was made or month or whatever information the serial number will give you. I would like that. That'd be kind of cool. All right, guys. After checking it out, this computer, the last time it was used, it seemed like full time, was 2005. Um, the oldest file I could find on there was about 1996. Uh, so in that time period, 15 years, it has been in storage, not being used, uh, barn find per se. And we got it to start and run for the first time in 15 years. So pretty cool for a computer built back in 1986. If you liked this video and you want to see more, I'm thinking about electro writing this thing, uh, maybe trying to max out some more stuff to it, see what other cards I can find. And uh, we also have printers and a scanner. I also have like four more Macs that came with this lot that uh, we want to try to see if we can get them up and running as well. So if you liked this content, if you want to see more of these Macs, these other peripherals from Apple, please uh, like the uh, video below and uh, comment if you would, tell me what you think, and subscribe. That will let me know that you guys want to see more of these first start, first run type videos on a computer. And uh, we'll get to that. So I'm going to wrap up. I got more work to do on the uh, Firebird. So if you're into Firebirds or Porsches, I'm restoring both of those. Uh, click link somewhere here and you can check out those videos as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much. See you next time.